On this episode, we travel to Chongwe, a small town located just 45 kilometers away from the capital city of Lusaka. Also situated in Lusaka province, mainly known for its agricultural activities like crop production and livestock, Chongo reassumed its district status in 1993, and the district administration is made up of the council office, and it is also administered by the traditional administration, and traditionally, Chongo is the home of the Soli people, under the rule of Her Royal Highness, Senior Chief Tenasin Komesha Mukamambo II. She is the second female Komesha since the 19th century, and she is the first woman to be elected as the chairperson of the House of Chiefs, it is believed that the Soli tribe were a branch of the Lua migration, a branch that included the Kaondes, Lalas and other tribes that entered Zambia south of the Vapua River. It is thought to be more than 200 years ago when the Soli people arrived in the country, with evidence of archaeological findings that show the advancements of the Soli and the Lenje people that occupied the area, evidence of poetry, agricultural stock raising and a collection of 21st century iron works of the Iron Age in Lusaka which truly tells us that the Soli people were the original inhabitants of Lusaka, and that's the reason why both our great city and our province are named after Chief Lusaka of the Soli people, setting his village where the old post office stands, and the village was relocated to Olympia area, today where the parliament building is situated, and Manda Hill is said to be a place where the Soli people buried their dead. And with the passage of time, the Soli people moved to different places of the province, and that's one of the reasons why many places in Lusaka get their names from the Soli people. Like my beloved home of Kawata Estes, where I grew up, was a village which was named after Chief Lusaka's son, Kawata, who was a headman at that very village, and was said to have later become Komesha in the year 1905. And their farmlands would be in the nearby area of Libala, which means fields in Soli. And Matera is named after the slope at Matera Market as you are going to Lilanda. A slope in Soli is called Matelo. Some say that Kablonga was named after the headwoman who was called Mukavulongo. And others say that Kablonga comes from the Soli word Bulongo, which means soil, because there was a nearby area that was known for its clay, where women and children would go and collect the clay for molding pots. But if you do know the actual meaning of Kablonga, you can comment down below. Lilai comes from the phrase Lilai Lusuva. The sun is about to set. In the 19th century, European slave traders began coming from the coastal regions of modern-day Tanzania, Mozambique and Angola, and began enslaving members of the Lenji and the Soli people. To the Middle East, Europe and South America, so the Soli and the Lenji people migrated, and the Lenji people inhabiting the region to the north, and the Soli people inhabiting the region to the south of Lusaka. And in the 1890s, the British South African company seized the territory, and the Soli people finally settled here, in Chongwe, meaning sunset and sunrise, Chongwe. And here, the Soli people carry on their tradition through their culture of music, heritage, language and dance. The ceremony of Chakwila Makumbi, meaning pulling the clouds, a ceremony of calling for rain, as our Royal Highness Chief Tenasin Komesha Mukamambo II calls out and pleads with God and the ancestors to bless the people. With rain. There is a type of beauty of learning about the wonderful ethnic groups of the society, learning about the history with the eagerness of trying to construct a future. And visiting Chongwe, you learn about the culture and the people of the district. You see them in their everyday lives, you see the marketplace, and here you can buy fresh vegetables and interact with the locals. You visit the churches, a place where the people of the town come to pray. You get to appreciate the people of Chongwe and their contribution towards the country's productivity. I do understand that through travels, you get to learn about different societies and respect other people's cultures and traditions.
Even though a small town, we would love and wish to see a bright and prosperous future for the town of Chongwe in agriculture, infrastructure, technology, health, education and tourism. And to travel from a perspective of a student, a student who wants to learn about different cultures of the town, of the country, of the world, with the very intention of trying to communicate with the different people of the world. <laughs> respect others' beliefs, to preserve culture and morals, to see something new, to visit relatives, to eat different foods, to drink our own, to be in the company of others, to share an experience, to cherish what we learn about those we find through our travels. Chongwei!